So I'm just showing everybody quickly how to restore the Neodent Cone Morse Connection A. The beauty behind this system, healing abutments, impression copings, cover screws, abutments, everything. They all have one connection on the top, okay, in the CM for ease of use. Uh, we have this type of abutment. This happens to be a 4.5 by, I think, a 3.5 height. But we even have something that's a customized, semi-customized. It's a peak material from uh, Revo Dental Lab. Some other labs are, are making this as well. We would simply remove that with the 048 driver. It's like a Brandemark or 3i. With this guy going on top, we take that off. We take just a moment when, when it's completely out. We removed the healing button when we use this tissue measurement gauge. So this guy can go in. It's just a nice little friction fit, but we look on the buckle and see where our line is. To take a measurement for the laboratory, we let those guys know, counting backwards from the measurement here on the side of this, what that, what that gingival height is on the buckle. And then very simply add, in this case in the posterior, this is a closed tray impression coping. We put this on until it gets tight. And then it comes with two of these little blue or uh, purple disposable caps. They very easily snap on to the top and then they're picked up in the impression. Once that's done, we send that stuff off to the lab. And a lot of folks are typically getting either this nice custom titanium milled abutment on the front, or we're doing something with a tie base abutment on the back. And we're actually having the laboratory loot those two pieces together for you, wicking away any of that excess cement. They set all that stuff up for you. There's a screw access hole for retrievability and ease of use or placement. And we get a nice screw retain restoration. When we do that, coming back from the laboratory, we insert this guy. I remember showing everybody just quickly that using the 035 screwdriver, called a .9 as well, um, we would simply turn this just till it gets tight because we're only going with this connection to 15 Newton centimeters. So now we put this guy down. Let's actually put this on the out. Let's do the in. But we're set at 15 Newton centimeters on the end of our wrench down here. And this is, obviously after this has come back from the laboratory, um, probably two weeks later, but I noticed that, boom, I just had this thing break away. And that's it. That's all I need is that 15 Newton centimeters to torque or get that lovely screw retained single unit crown down and seat it.